This poor cow was lame on her back left. We didn't know if we could help her. We weren't sure if the problem was in her joint or in her hoof. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I've just got this little cow into the crush. I noticed her in the collecting yard there, she was holding her back left foot up a little bit. So she was sort of knuckling on the top of it. So hopefully it's not a joint issue and hopefully it's in the hoof and that we can fix it today. So I've got this cow's foot lifted and thankfully there is a problem in the foot. And when I say thankfully there's a problem, obviously it would be better if there was no problem. But sometimes if a cow has joint issues, there's nothing that a hoof trimmer can do to help her apart from allow her to rest. So hopefully today here, she's got some dermatitis in here. So that's add away a little bit at the foot. The hoof's quite overgrown, so we can bring her some comfort right from today. I'm going to put this tip in upside down just so I don't aggravate the dermatitis while I'm trimming it. I'm still a little bit high on this inner claw and the idea of a routine trim is to distribute the weight 50-50 over both claws. I'm going to take this down another wee bit just to leave her 100% balanced and then I'm going to deal with the digi. It always gets busy when the cameras go on, the farms get noisy. But uh, the whole thing with this digi is just cleaning out the sharp edges around the, these fissures, these cracks up at the heel, so that when the cow steps, they're not jagging into that digi. Now, the foot bath I would say here has killed a little bit of this. It's a little bit more black than normal, but just as I'm touching it, gently cleaning it. I don't want to aggravate that lesion of dermatitis anymore, so 
I'm satisfied that well, I got it nice and soft around the heel. And the salicylic acid will exfoliate that that old skin and uh, it really is a great product for that. So the rest of this girl's feet were just routine trims. So I'm just gonna let her out of the right here. See how she's walking. She's a lively little animal anyway. And even when I went to put her into the crush, she soon forgot about that sore foot. You can't lie down, you have to get out. Come on. Come on, Dirk. So with the routine trim there, she's already standing nice and square on that foot and then the salicylic acid will do its thing. And if we didn't trim that cow, the, the dermatitis would just continue to eat away and eat away and, and really ruin the cow. So it's nice to intervene and get, the, get it treated appropriately. So hopefully the next time we see that cow, she'll, be, um, she'll have nice, clean, healthy heels. So it's a beautiful day over here. I know you didn't click into this video to get an update on the Irish weather, but we had a frost last night, minus one, big frost over here. Uh, some of you guys are dealing with a lot of colder conditions and would probably laugh at a frost like that, but I still had to put on my long johns even though it was minus one. So uh, thanks for watching this video folks, and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll bring you the follow-up trim of that little cow. Take care and enjoy the rest of your day.